bring it to your sweet tooth for the fall season. And here to tell us about all the seasonal desserts showing up on the menu, pastry chef Julie Cogley. We have so many delicious looking things in front of us, including dirt and worms. Dirt and worms. What did you guys, what kind of inspiration did you have for your fall desserts when you're trying to come up with them? Well, with the combination of feeling really, really nostalgic. I mean, we all remember <laughs> having dirt and worms when we were a kid, yeah. chocolate pudding, Cool Whip, gummy worms. Who doesn't mm -hmm. hate that? Uh, with the upcoming uh, holiday season of Halloween, uh, why not do a little uptake on that and make it a little more adult friendly, but still have that really playful fun edge to it? Right, when I heard you guys were bringing dirt and worms at first, yeah, I thought exactly what I had when I was a little kid, just a little plastic cup with little, your pudding in there. Little crushed up Oreos, mm -hmm. yeah. But uh, then I read what you guys are doing with it and it's definitely elevated, Especially starting with whatever, what do you call this container that it goes in? It's got a little casserole dish. Um, mm. Thought it would be kind of cute, kind of looks like a little planter, kind of helps with the, the yeah. earthy theme to it. Should we, do we get to actually make one? Absolutely. Oh my gosh. Is this a simple thing to make? Or Absolutely, it's just okay. building, 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 layers and layers. Um, starting out, do you want to? Sure. Do you want to go for it? Yeah. What so do we starting do Starting out on the bottom, um, instead of bypassing the the Jello and the Cool Whip, um, starting out the mscarpone cheesecake layer. Ooh. Mm -hmm. So if you just want to take that guy and just go for it, and that's our that's just our bottom layer. Just make a whole layer, layer yeah. on the bottom. Oh my gosh. That's, that's where. Our, where what? our worms are eventually going to make our way down to. Is there any wrong way to do this? Absolutely not. Okay, excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Is that enough? Do Absolutely, more? Absolutely, it's perfect. Uh, and then next up with our layers, we're going to put in a layer of black velvet cake right <gasps> here. What? Yeah. I was not re ready for that one. <laughs> this whole thing? Absolutely. Oh my gosh. And then it just fits right in there. Oh gosh. Oh no. Oh perfect. No. Oh, oh no. Doing great. Let me see. Go flat. There right we now. go. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. It's all the nostalgia. You can use your hands Absolutely. to eat your dessert. And then we're going to do a Carmelia mousse. I'm a big fan of a Valrona chocolate, so it's like a nice mix of uh, chocolate and caramel. And just do oh. a nice little, you got to get the get the wrist action in there. Get what the am, I, am I trying to? Oh, yeah. Just get a, give it a good <laughs> squeeze. Give it a good squeeze. And go like all the yeah. way around, something like that. Absolutely. That's perfect. Beautiful. And then for dirt. And you called that Carmelia mousse? Carmelia, yes. What it's, is it's a really, it's a little bit lighter than a milk chocolate. And it has a lot of really nice uh, caramel undertones to it Ooh. to kind of give it just a little bit more of an edge than just straight milk chocolate. I like it. It's very nice, especially throw a little sea salt in there. Can't go wrong. <laughs> so, such a fancy dirt and worms. I love it. Absolutely. And then we have a cocoa nib soil. Oh. Um, so it's kind of like your, that's where your crushed Oreos come into play a little bit. But there's some cocoa nibs in there, which kind of gives it a nice, uh, more earthy chocolate flavor. Just sprinkle it yeah. on top. Go crazy. Go yes. crazy. You <laughs> need a lot of dirt. All of the dirt. Especially if it's cocoa nibs. Oh my gosh. Do I keep covering? I don't want to see all the Go nuts. <laughs> Carmelia chocolate under there. You need that lots is. of soil to uh, grow some wonderful plants. Absolutely. That? We need the soil for the worms. Yeah. Which we have right here. It's just a little um, fruity gummies um, made with strawberry puree, um, cut up and layered with a little bit of a nice sour sugar to kind of give it a little bit of a bite. Ooh, they're sour gummies? Absolutely. Worms? Yes. Do you guys make these? Yes. Whoa. Yeah. Is that a normal thing? as a pastry chef to be making gummy worms I, in your restaurant? <laughs> I don't think everybody does it, but I mean, it's definitely a lot more fun than, you know, if, if you're gonna make something, you might as well go all out and make it all. Yeah. How do they look? That's beautiful. That's they look beautiful. like real worms, are they convincing? <laughs> <laughs> and then in the end, you just kind of garnish it with a little bit of, you got some like little microgreens here, which I like to use a little bit of it, because you know, whether you're eating it or not, it still kind of, again, gives it a little bit of an earthy, taste when you're biting into mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. And then a little mint leaves if you want to pop those guys on there. Oh. Then it definitely that's, looks that's, like a convincing little, that's little grass, garden. Right? Wow. And do people eat the mint leaves too? I hope so. I hope so. I know a lot of people use mint leaves as just a, a garnish just to put a little color on there, but that, uh, the mint actually plays really nicely with all the earthy flavors and textures. And when you finally get your spoon in there and get all the flavors in there, it's just all comes together really nicely. Then. Oh, we want to get really wild what? with it. Ice cream. I'm going to let you go for it. Just, sure. Just get in there. And where does it go? Right on top. And that is oh a coconut nib ice cream to kind of complement the flavors of the coconut soil. Just absolutely. Right on, that is a very messy looking scoop. It's but beautiful. It's dirt and worms. Because you so know what? We're just going <gasps> to right there. Yes. Worms everywhere. How long is this on the menu for you guys? Well done. Um, that is actually going to be on there until maybe a couple days after Halloween. Then we're going to kind of switch it up and start getting a little crazier with chocolate. Oh. Yeah. 
That is amazing. Well, thank you so much. Jackrabbit, again, 830 no Southwest 6th Avenue. Go Jackrabbit.com. Yes, go Jackrabbit, go. Go eat this. And then, oh my gosh, I'm going to take a spoon. Can I have a bite? <laughs> Absolutely. As we Please toss do. to commercial break, <laughs> I'm just try to get all the dirt and all the, oh my gosh, making a mess. But that's what dirt and worms is all about, right? Got to get dirty with the dirt and worms. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Well.